Okay, now we're going to start working on the circuit board. Okay, you're going to have uh, some drawings in the plans, and you want to locate your uh, circuit board itself. And again, make sure you've got it uh, aligned properly for your mounting holes to be in there. There's going to be some wires that fit in there as well. Just be sure and get your schematics printed out. Because again, we're going to highlight all this area as we're putting it in as well. So have your highlighter ready. And again, go by your schematic and your diagrams and just start on one end. Doesn't matter if you start on the left or the right. And just take it one piece at a time. And I would, I would put that piece on the circuit board. And also, you might want to measure out the wire that you need for the connections to that piece. Sometimes you'll have a wire going to you know, a point that uh, meets up with several pieces. And I'll have your soldering iron ready as well. I would go ahead and once you've got something you can fully solder in, solder it in place and highlight it on your diagrams that you've got it done. This is the, the best, most disciplined way that you can go about this. I mean, you can see from this page, there's a lot of connections here. You're going to have a lot of wires hanging out. And uh, you just, it's so easy to miss something here. Um, take it one step at a time, highlight it, and double check it. And go ahead and clean off the ends and everything as you've got something complete. And then move on to your next component. Again, you can, uh, I also like to turn those capacitors to where you could read the writing on them and that way if you do need to go back and identify something later on from the schematic you can tell the voltage the value for that capacitor and now here you go with a uh, fully populated circuit board like I said there's a lot of wires and a lot of connections here there's also a lot of wires going uh, back and forth that go across the back and you want to look at the schematic and uh, highlight those as well and just give it the once over and make sure that everything's good and connected you've got good solder joints everywhere and then go over your plans and make sure everything's highlighted you know and I'll even take another printout of the schematic and a highlighter and just go back over it the second time double check everything and make sure it's right this is uh, one area where it's very easy to make a mistake as well once you've double and triple checked it now we're going to get to the point where uh, we're going to push as many of those wires kind of get those out of the way Make sure that our circuit board will uh, fit right inside there. And you'll also notice I had to do a little manipulation here to get that around the uh, bias pot. Sometimes a little uh, extra work like that's required just to make every sure everything fits properly. And now you want to take this and just get it in place. Make sure everything's connected well. You're also going to notice where all these wires are going. We're going to deal with those uh, later on. Right now you just want to get the circuit board in place. But then you go through the process once you've got it mounted. Go ahead and take all your wires and connect them where they go as far as the controls and the pots. Now everything should be wired in at this point except for the high voltage and low voltage secondary wires of the power transformer and the wires from the output transformer. 
Remember these that we twisted? You want to leave those out. It'll be part of the testing procedures when we actually wire those into place. And absolutely do not power up the amp at this point. Do not connect your wall output to the amplifier at this time. It's very dangerous to do so.